Okay, so here we are again. We're going to be unboxing this, which is a game called Victorian Masterminds, which I just got in the mail from Amazon Prime. So sorry, I've already taken it out of that box, but if you're desperate to see how things are packed in Amazon Prime boxes, I'm pretty sure there's a few more of them out there that you can see. All right, so this is a Cool Mini or Not game um, designed by Eric Lang and Antonin Bowser. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Let's have a look. Um, so this one was a straight-to-retail game, not one of Kicks, uh, uh, Simon's numerous annual Kickstarter releases, um, which is a, something that they like to do when they have a pretty complete game and there's no need really for a lot of extras. Or I don't know what their what their motivation is for doing that, but that's my guess. So the box is all right. Um, pretty good quality. I can get the lid off. Um, pretty normal, what is that? Like one mil thick cardboard on the box. So here it is, there's a little card, learn to play. Oh, they've got some online rules. Everything's becoming digital. Um, and here's the, the rule book. Normal glossy stock. Not a super thick rule book, which is always good. Won't take too long to learn, I hope. Um, and here we have, I'm guessing these are the player boards. So these are the different huge machines that you get to create as a um, evil genius. Uh, and it's sort of the, I think that's the goal of the game is to compete with other evil geniuses to complete your evil machine. So the albatross, the claws, the red kraken. These sound great. What's on the other side? Pictures of people. So I haven't actually... Oh, this game looks cool. There's lots. Lots of different machines. The tarantula. Nice. All right, and there's our punch boards. Yeah, pretty good thickness. Very workable. More punch boards. And then we've got the machine parts for each one of those super doomsday machines. You can see there's bits and pieces to actually put it together. That's sort of the the way the game plays along, they're trying to assemble it. And now we have this unique game board. Looks like that. Is it dusty or scuffed? Uh, it's just a bit of dust, that's fine. Where does it fold out? Here it is. So instead of your normal squarish game board, this game board is a big long strip, which is handy or not, depending on the shape of your table. Ah. And there are actually some miniatures in this game. They're not people miniatures, they're building miniatures. These are um, a variety of monuments, I guess, you can destroy, um, being an evil mastermind. Oh, and then there's little busts of various minions. So they look all the same, so. And then these are the minion gears that you use during the game. There's a little deck of cards. Cool. And more buildings. So let's take there's three basic types of buildings, little factories, little schools, little towers, I'm guessing. And it looks like these guys here fit right into that. So this is a nicely set up game that has spots for everything in the box once you get it all set up, which is really great for keeping the, the amount of time for setup and breakdown because everything has this little spot to go into. And there it is, Victoria Masterminds. That was just a quick one. Um, not too much in the box, but it's all good quality. And um, I'm hoping the game will be a lot of fun. It looks fun. So that's, uh, that's our unboxing of Victoria Masterminds. If you have any comments or requests, please comment below. Uh, please like and follow.